Shot here from Two Shot Gaming. Today we're doing the Optifine mod. It's a great mod. It helps your Minecraft run faster. It gives you a lot of options. Um, I tried to make the video a little bit better this time. What I'm trying to do is explain a little bit more. A lot of guys have a lot of questions, so I'm going to go... It's going to be a little longer than usual. Um, first thing I try to do is make the screen a lot bigger, bigger, if you guys notice. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, first thing we have to do is back up your Minecraft. What you want to do is go percent app data percent if you don't have windows 7 this works for windows 7 if you don't have windows 7 you gotta just look um find out how to get to your roaming file if you have windows 7 this will definitely work for you 100 percent other than that you just gotta find out how to get to your roman and then you'll be good you click on your roman you got your dot minecraft right here what you do is right click on it highlight it and then you and then you do copy you copy it, just throwing your desktop, which I already did that. I got it right here. I'm trying to save a little bit of time because I don't want this to be too long. Cause it's a really easy mod, and I bounced on it. Whatever. What I want to do right now is delete it. It's always good to do this mod with a fresh install because you don't know what mod it works with. So take your time, put your other mods back in, see which ones work, see which ones doesn't work. Do one at a time. Okay. So what we're gonna do now? I already have it downloaded. This is the um. Minecraft forum page for it. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can find it. There's a lot of different ones here. There's a standard version. There's a smooth, a smooth version that helps it run faster and smoother. This is the one I'm doing. It kind of does a little bit of both. Um, the multi-core one. This is when I download it. Um, it says three times faster world. You have to have multi-core for it to work better. So if not, I suggest you go with the smooth. It's a little bit better than the um, standard edition. Um, and you can also try that one. So what I basically I did here to take the time and I don't have to wind up downloading it. You can download one or two for multi-core. You can go to smooth if you want, and you can also go to standard. If you're having trouble altogether, go to standard. It's basically not need for um, MC Patcher for stuff, which I'll show you that too, and I'll take you through all the. I'll take you through most of the, like a little tutorial on how most of them work. To make it a little bit easier for you but you want to kind of pretty much probably do the smooth if anything that's the, that's going to give you the more fps that's going to make everything run better for you at least removes the land the lag spikes which is very important so you download here i did the multi-core one one or two doesn't matter which one you want to do and then what we want to do also is start up minecraft real quick so we do it from a fresh install so everybody can see exactly how it works. You're going to have to put in your username and your password again. And then log into Minecraft. It'll download everything. So you're starting from the very beginning. I'll even, I'm going to go back and show you how to get your world files from the folder. Because I see some people having trouble with that. Okay, now we're here. We're good. Close Minecraft. You have to close Minecraft to do this. Okay. So then what you want to do is hit the start menu again. Do percent app data percent remember windows 7 if you have xp or something else just figure out how to find your own file it'll be pretty easy as soon as you find it then after that it's pretty much the same okay so now we got everything my dot minecraft right here right click on it open it up you got your bed double click on your bed then you got this is your dot minecraft right here the executable jar file fairly simple highlight it <laughs> right click on it open with winroar winroar is very important to have so you can open these files okay now let's close this for now you got uh, let's keep it small so you guys can see both of them you got this here right click open up open up the jar file the optified okay bring it down get down to the bottom highlight all these full all these class classes hold them drop them in hit okay this is the meta in folder highlight it right click and um as soon as I, all right delete Everything looks a little weird. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. You need to delete that so everything works better. 
All right, now you can get out of here. You don't need this anymore. And you also don't need this anymore. You're all done with both of them. Now, we're gonna go through this pretty slow. This is the one I had saved. Okay? This is my old one. These are my worlds that I have. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back, just to take the time to show you exactly how it's done. Percent app, data, percent. Go back into your Roman. Double clicking on um, dot Minecraft, then saves. This folder is empty. This is my new folder. These are my worlds and my saves folder for my own Minecraft. I'll add them all, drag them over, put them in. Now all the worlds are in here. X out all of that. All right? Now when we have this up, we're going to go back. One, this is your bin. Your texture pack. You know what? We're going to go just from the beginning again. So we just get it. Instead of confusing it. Let's do percent, app, data, percent again, click on your Roman. Go down to your my, dot Minecraft, click on it. This is your Ben files. We already got the saves. Those are in there, right? Those are worlds in there. Texture packs. There's nothing in texture packs here. Alright. This is Kingcraft. It's an awesome HD 128. I think it comes in in 64. I use 128. So there you go, you're done. You put it in, that's all you have to do. No MC patcher. Okay? So we got up to that point pretty good. Now everything's in and downloaded. That part is to show you that you can switch texture packs in game. So I just threw that in there. And that's how easy it is to put a texture pack in. Alright? So you put your password in again. Log into Minecraft. Turn on texture packs. Let's show you how, you know, we'll do it in a game. Do single player. Let's, let's see. I'm trying to think of which one I want to go into. Let's go into my, um, this is my own four pillar survival. It's not, you know, that's not that important. All right, we're in here. Let's hit um, F3. You see how smooth it's running? We got 360, 330, jumping around, rendering really good. Got great movement. No lag spikes. See how low the bar is, how green it is? You'll get, yeah, you'll get one occasionally, I guess, if you get the right part of the map to spike for you. So let's. Let's go to, oh, sorry about that. Let's go to options. Go to video options. Now look at all the video options you have. If you highlight each one, it tells you exactly what it is. Where to get higher quality from, slows down your computer, where to put it on so it's, so it's faster. You'll have to adjust each one of these. This is a big one. If you go to, if you go to fast, you see how the chunks are rendering now and see how higher I went up. If I, let's see, if I lower my distance to normal, to short, I'm up to 550 now. Everything is loaded already. Balance performance, max FPS, 550. You know, there's only so much you can do. We're getting close to the 600 as much as we could. <laughs> um, you can go to animation. Usually you're going to leave all these on because you want to see all this stuff. But you can take them off to help the FPS if you're having problems. Remember, this is what Fracture recording. So, I'm thinking right here, that's pretty decent. Now, um, things are probably going to change when we hit this texture pack one. Because it's a 128 texture pack and it's going gonna, it's gonna to run a little bit. Okay, so, alright. All right, I thought it was going to get... It's staying pretty smooth, so... Remember, this is in game. You can do it. Um, where this is a short. Um, let's put a little stress on it. We'll put it to far. Let's put it back to fancy. You see the bar get a little bit more. A little lose a little more FPS. 
um, see details like you can change better grass on or off mobs on or off you can there's a lot of things you can do here rain and snow default you can do fancy there's a lot of options you can keep it so your minecraft does still look great and also runs pretty high running at 371 about 370 with everything pretty much updated so I'm, you know swamp colors on off full screen really don't need to mess with full screen what else you have um smooth fps on or off no stabilization for fps if you turn it on you'll have more stabilization stable stabilizing your fps so it just helps out a little bit more um chunk updates lowers if you put the fastest on there they keep it on default it'll low it'll go a little slow but if you're having problems already leave it on that you can adjust these things so you could find a happy medium where you're good at where you want to be at um view this is one i would say not to mess with i've tried this before if you turn it on it even it lags it looks looks the difference like from where on to off you'll you'll see i'll, I'll get some leg spike, spikes when i go out here <laughs> see this is a hard thing you'll have a half to like i think i have a pretty decent computer but you have to be you have to have a pretty beast computer to be messing with three times for all the rendering distance you see out there i'm starting to render on a sky block i'm starting to see where you took out the world like that's far that's three times farther than what you're supposed to see all right let's um let's go back into options and take the far view turn it back off that's something you really don't you see how much it dropped already and we're back up let's see with it on we're down to 85 86 and you start moving around you're gonna lag you, you saw that happen <laughs> so let's leave it off it's not like the best one to have auto save uh, I guess you know it's up to you timer day only night only it's pretty good um, let's see let's leave it on default because I, I want it to change back and forth um, it's good to leave this on nearest rough smooth fine smooth. Uh, it's kind of whatever you see like mess around with everything see how everything works out You have to see what you like more than what you don't like But um, there's a lot of good stuff in this in this here So now we got a little bit we'll have to change it if we want it to work better I notice when you did we do mess with that three times father just log out of Minecraft and start it back up because it does give you a little leg after you start messing with that one. But you saw how we were rendering before. Now we're at 136. As recording with Fraps. And Fraps does kill you FPS. So, um, guys, I hope this tutorial is better. If you like it, please hit the like button. Let me know that you it's doing a good job and you appreciate it more. Sorry about that. And um, until next time, guys. Peace.